Talking with Steve from collegefootballwinning.com and Doug from impactwageringsolutions.com previewing week five in college football. Uh, Doug, you wanted to talk about Texas and Iowa State. Now this game, uh, it, it seems to me to be too treacherous. I, I wouldn't want to make a play on it. Uh, it, opened nine and, it opened at 10, now it's nine and a half. Iowa State is a home dog. Both teams are off of a bye week. Texas, of course, is a powerhouse, but they're young. Iowa State uh, does have some good wins though so far. Uh, why do you like this line? Well, I the, what I like about it is, first of all, tech, as you mentioned, Texas is, is off a bye, and they're 20-11-2 against the spread off a bye. Another thing about this team, they're, with their, all their youth, okay, I think it's working, uh, it's working for them to be positive for Mac Brown because last year's team was very full of itself. Mm -hmm. This year's team is more focused, and he's got better players right. that can do more things. The other thing that I really like is that Case McCoy looks like he's going to be a really good quarterback. And it's a nice combination with Jason Shipley and the increased, uh, or I should say, the better running game with Malcolm Brown is a real positive. Now, Iowa State does have some pluses. They are 3-0, and even though the, all three of their wins have been by a total of seven points. Yeah, but they the were against some decent Steel competition. Jans is a real playmaker. The problem is he does make a lot of mistakes. And I think ultimately that's what's going to cost Iowa State in this situation, even though I think they, they will continue to get some money. As you said, the spread has come down, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if it came down to eight and a half or nine, but then go back up by game time. But the big thing here is that Iowa State is just 4-11 and 11 against a spread as a home dog against ranked teams. Uh, Steve, what does collegefootballwinning.com have to say about this game? Because, uh, you know, Iowa State did have, they have a win over Iowa. That's an impressive win, right? I'm not sure that Iowa team is as good as we thought they would be at okay. the beginning of the year. And if you think that was an impressive win, and I think you have to say that Eking out a win against Northern Iowa is not very impressive. Mm -hmm. It was 20 to 19, I think, was the final there when they started the season. But that's the Iowa State is also coming off of a bye week. They are, uh, they beat Texas last year, so I think it's sort of a revenge game for Texas. But I wanted to talk about this before we get to Oklahoma. This could, they, Iowa State could catch Texas looking ahead to Oklahoma. Mm. So I would stay away from this game.